pit bull starts barking in the middle of the night and grabs the owner's baby for the strangest reason. An eight-month-old pit bull was living with the Chichanda family. In no time, she'd grown very close to the family. Sasha was everyone's favorite, but her favorite was Nana's seven-month-old daughter. She'd cuddle with her all the time. The dog was very obedient, but that night, everything changed. Sasha began barking continuously. The pooch was in the backyard, whereas Nana and her daughter were sleeping inside the house. When Nana went out to see what happened, she saw Sasha jumping at the door. She opened the door and went out. It was then she realized why Sasha was behaving so weirdly. The woman immediately ran inside to grab her baby, but it was too late. This remarkable incident took place in Stockton, California. Nana Chaichanda lived in the house with her kids. As it was Sunday, she had no plans and had decided to spend the whole day at home with her kids and Sasha. But little did she know that that day was going to bring a big change in their lives. Sasha lives with Nana and her three small kids. Unlike many dogs out there, Sasha was living an amazing life. Her mom, Nana Chaichanda, is a single mother who looks after her three kids and Sasha on her own. Sasha is a pit bull by breed. Pit bulls are known for their aggressive behavior. A lot of people say kids should not be left alone with them as they don't have a good temperament. However, this is not wholly true. Pit bulls have gained popularity of their friendly nature. They're extremely loyal and affectionate with kids and adults. The woman loved dogs. This is why she decided to adopt a dog when she felt depressed. And as expected, Sasha brought lots of happiness to the house with herself. She got along with everyone in the house. Life was going amazingly for them. Sasha was a lovable family member. Nana and all her three kids had formed a special bond with her. But who did Sasha like the most? Sasha made a very special bond with the seven-month-old baby. As both were of the same age, Sasha treated the baby like her sister. She loved cuddling with her sister. One of the reasons behind her special bond with Masela is that the duo took birth only a month apart. Amusingly, both of them are born in the same year and differentiated by only a month. Sasha is very protective of her and stays with her all the time. Not only that, they even take a shower together. Nana said, when the baby came home is when Sasha came home. They've been inseparable ever since. Interestingly, both of them became part of the family at the same time. And as both were of the same age, Sasha felt more connected with the baby. The dog was a little cute cuddle bug. She would keep Nana's kids busy with her. That would save a lot of time for Nana. That's why she too never mind the kids snuggling all the time with that little angel. The pooch had become center of attention of the house. But as they say, not every day is the same. The 3rd of June 2018 was a whole lot different for them. Nana saw Sasha doing some weird stuff. The woman was inside her home and Sasha was in the garden. While she was patting her daughter to sleep, she heard some noise coming from the garden. The noise was getting unbearable and so she decided to see what was the matter. Nana presumed that Sasha wanted to come inside the house, but was that the case here? No. She had something else on her mind, and Nana was soon going to figure it out. Even after Sasha got inside the house, she kept on barking. The pooch was not in a good condition. She was jumping and barking. Not only that, she was crying too. What had gone wrong with her? I heard like a loud bang, and I was like, what's going on? And I heard Sasha crying, and she just kept jumping at the door, said Nana. The pooch immediately rushed inside the house once Nana opened the door. Nana recalled, my neighbor's home was totally destroyed and the fire was quickly spreading to my unit. Sasha was trying to warn us of the fire. I got out of bed to see what was going on. At that moment, I opened the back door and Sasha ran into our home, straight into our bedroom. This was very weird of Sasha. She'd never acted this weird before. Something was definitely wrong. She stepped outside to see if everything was right. It was all dark. All her neighbors had gone to sleep. Nana said Sasha usually struts in and goes straight to the couch and lays down. However, that's not what happened this time. Sasha ran inside the room. She was barking at her and was moving around. Sasha had woken up her family in the middle of the night and was behaving strangely. Nana sensed it. Okay, this is weird. This isn't like her. And then she went outside to see what was happening. She got her answer. Her neighbor's house had caught fire, which was approaching her apartment rapidly. Nana explained, I was shocked and I was stuck thinking, is this for real? She could sense her body gone cold with fear. The woman had to think on her feet as the flames were soon going to take over her house. The woman looked around to see if anyone was out. The fire had set Nana's neighbor's house ablaze. 
The house was engulfed with flames and now the fire was rapidly moving towards her house. Nana was all blank. She couldn't understand what to do. Inside the house, Sasha was looking for Masela, her human sister. Nana, who was yet to overcome the recent blow, ran inside the house to grab her child. But little did she know that there was another surprise waiting for her. She saw Sasha in her room. She already had my baby by the diaper and was dragging her off the bed, Nana recalled. The woman hastily got the baby from the dog, found her phone and the dog's collar. After that, she ran outside the house. The woman dialed 911 with trembling hands. Her entire surrounding was sleeping, so she decided to wake them up and warn them about the treats. She didn't have much time. Nana had gone white with fear. She began screaming, fire, fire. She screamed from the top of her voice, hoping that someone would listen to her. A few minutes later, the woman started banging at the doors and windows of her neighbors in order to wake them up. She was extremely worried about her cousin and aunt as they used to live next to her apartment. She didn't know if they were in danger or not. And then another terrifying incident took place. Nana was shouting out for help outside her house, whereas Sasha once again ran inside the flaming house. Sasha was searching for the other two kids in the house. Luckily that night, they were not staying at the house. Nana said, they were visiting their dad at the time, but Sasha didn't know that. In a few minutes, firefighters made to the site. Nana requested them to find Sasha. Smoke was billowing out of the house. It was difficult to tell if she was alive or not. Nana didn't want to lose Sasha at any cost. She'd become an integral part of the family. But no matter how much the firefighters tried, they couldn't find her. The smoke was so bad, I kept yelling, where's Sasha? And the firefighter said, there's no dog in there. But I knew Sasha was in the house. Nana was in disbelief. Had they lost Sasha forever? The firefighters couldn't find her. Does it mean she got burnt? She needed to go inside the house to look for her own self. The second the fire was put out the house, she got inside to look for the pooch. Was she going to find her? She looked inside every room, but she wasn't there. Her heart began to sink. However, she didn't give up just yet. After the room, she looked at the place where her kids used to play hide and seek. My kids love to play hide and seek, and that's their hiding spot. Nana reminisces. When I found her, I started crying. I hugged her. I kissed her. It was so emotional. That was the first time Nana realized how important Sasha had become to all of them. Only the imagination of losing Sasha had sent chills down her spine. Nana's affection for Sasha has only increased since the accident. Sasha always spends the night sleeping with one of the kids. You could hear her cuddling with them. But that particular day, she stayed in the backyard. Had she not been there, they might have been killed. Thanks to her, Nana and her daughter managed to escape in time. Thanks to Sasha, we were able to get out safe and call 911. We got everyone out of the house into safety. I owe Sasha my life and my children's. She saved us all. She's our hero. Without her, we probably would have never made it out. Nana is very thankful to her. I owe her everything. If it wasn't for her, I would still be in bed and things could have taken a worse turn. Luckily, no harm was caused to the family in the accident, but Nana's house raised down. Clearly, Nana and her family had to find a new hideout to stay until the house gets fixed. The apartment had gotten completely destroyed. It was going to take a while for the house to get back to its former shape and they had to find another place to live. Furthermore, after the renovation of the property, it was going to be very expensive for Nana to afford. Nana explained, we can't go home anymore. She said, my son is nine and my daughter is eight. Explaining to them was hard. They said, will we be homeless? I said, no, we're going to be okay. They had one more sad bit of news awaiting them. Whereas Sasha was found safe and sound, there's no trace of her cousin HP. Nana said, he's Sasha's brother. They came from the same litter. HP is very friendly and he loves everybody. We're hoping someone will return him. Thanks to Nana's sister, the family did not have to bear much trouble. She got a GoFundMe page and guess what? In just 11 days, the page surpassed the previous set donation goal. Many people came forward and made donations. Nana could not get settled inside her house until the investigation regarding the cause of the fire reaches an end. So Nana decided that the kids would stay with their father and Sasha would live with her. Nana explained that Sasha has been very sad after being separated from the kids. She misses the kids and sleeping in their beds. I take the kids over there so Sasha doesn't cry all day, said Nana. Not only Nana, but her aunt too has gauged the affection Sasha holds for the kids. My aunt's been calling me saying Sasha's crying, but I brought the baby in and she'll just calm down, Nana added. She's family.
Nana talks about Sasha. She's always been a part of the family. Now she just gets steaks. Well, the bravery of the dog earned her lots of love and delicious meals. She actually emerged as a hero as if it was not for her story. The story would have a tragic end. It will take at least a year for the family to get back their old house. Though they're missing their house badly, Nana considers herself very lucky as she managed to get out of it in time. She's hopeful that they'll soon find a way out. The cause of the fire is still unknown. The police are yet to find a breakthrough. However, the fire destroyed many houses, but luckily no casualties were reported. Isn't it an amazing story and a great example of a dog's loyalty to their owner? We've heard a lot of stories about people rescuing dogs, but this one's different in the sense that the dog rescued the people. Kudos to Sasha.